hi guys welcome back so today super excited i'm going to start potting up some dahlia tubers and also starting some dahlia seeds my husband came home and surprised me with these beautiful dahlia tubers and they are already starting to take off and grow i don't know if you can see that in there see that so I want to get these in the pots as quickly as possible since they've already started to take off. Normally you want to start prepping your dahlia tubers and your dahlia seeds about four to six weeks before your last frost. It is six weeks before my last frost today so this is perfect timing to begin. So the varieties that he got me, he got me three dinner plate varieties. Um, so beautiful, I love them. I've grown dahlias once before in a container, loved them. They weren't the dinner plate. I'm not sure which variety it was, it was a few years ago and they were just little small little orange ones. Um, I actually got some video of it, I'll put that up here. Um, they didn't get very tall, they were definitely small, compact, but I love them. The varieties that he got me, here's Mystery Day. I love it. It's like a beautiful kind of burgundy with a lighter pinkish purple white. I guess that's white. Lighter white tips. So beautiful. Let's say it gets 32 to 40 inches tall. I'm just seeing um, how big the head gets, but it doesn't say. It just says height. 32 to 40 inches tall. And then he got me this one, which is in a sense very similar. It has like the wider... Uh, tips but instead of a darker burgundy color it's more of a pink color this is called lavender perfection 44 to 48 inches tall so this one gets a bit taller and then a beautiful upside down sorry a beautiful yellow dinner plate dahlia named Kelvin Floodlight. I think that is gorgeous. And this one gets 36 to 48 inches tall. So around the three to four feet tall. I'm just going to be potting them up into some one gallon pots here. I actually, I ran out of my one gallon pot. So I actually just ran down to my local nursery and asked if I could buy these. And normally they're always like, sure, if you're really lucky, they'll give you them for free. But I haven't had that experience <laughs> normally I have to pay a little bit which is fine totally fine so what I have in here is I just have a little bit of potting soil at the base of each of these one gallon pots and I'm just going to open up my tuber bags And this is what it looks like. Ooh. Now, if one wanted to, they could divide this and get more plants. You know, if you wanted to split it up, I see one, two, three eyes that are growing right now. Um, but for the sake of this video, I am just going to pot this whole thing up just like that. So I'm just going to put it down in the pot like this kind of nestle it in a little bit. Let's take some of this and I'm just going to top it, top it up like this. And you can plant them down about two inches below soil level, which that's about perfect. You can see the top of the stem right there. And that's where um, they chopped it, <laughs> chopped it off at dirt level. So the fact that that's right at dirt level and if I feel down, it's about two inches down there. So that is perfect right where I want it to go. Okay, moving on to the mystery day. And this one is already thriving. Oop, dropping dirt everywhere. But look at that. That is fabulous. So I'm holding it by the old stem. Um, and I'll just kind of gently maneuver this up when I plant it. So it starts kind of going off in the right direction. But again, I'm just going to nestle it in there. Just going to put soil around it. Kind of feeling to where that top of the stock was. And that is right here. So I'm just going like that. And it's already growing. Oh, 
and then tag just like that. And last one, Lavender Perfection. This is a really nice eye starting there. And then there's actually another eye right there. I don't know if you can see it. That will be coming up as well. All right, you guys, that is it for potting up dahlia tubers. And I will see you tomorrow for planting up dahlia seeds. Hi guys, it is the next day and I'm gonna begin with planting my dahlia seeds. Now I got both of these from Florat Flower Farm. I'll link her in the description box below. Um, and I have two different dahlia seed mixes. First one is Beast Choice Dahlias. But I'm super excited for those. And then these, the Discovering Dahlias mix, I actually got these when I ordered her latest book, Discovering Dahlias. I love all of her books. Um, so super excited for these as well. I'm excited for all of them, obviously. Um, but I'm just going to begin planting. Now I know dahlias, they don't like to have their roots disrupted. Um, so if you're beginning them indoors, I've heard that it's recommended it's best to plant them in bigger containers, but just due to lack of space, I am starting these in just a seed starting tray. But if you have room, then I would recommend starting it in bigger trays, or you can always direct sow outside. So these are the seeds. I like them. They're big. I like big seeds. It makes it so easy to start. And I am just going to begin sowing it. Most seeds, normally I do two seeds per cell when I'm sowing seeds. I'm actually going to be doing one seed per cell because they don't like to disturb the roots. And I don't have that many seeds, so I don't want to thin them out. So I'm doing one seed per cell. So if they come up, I don't have to move them. I might have some empty cells that don't make it. That's okay. But I don't want to disturb the roots any more than I have to. So I'm just going to plop them in one seed per cell. And then you want to cover it with a quarter inch of soil. Okay, I planted them, labeled them, watered them in, and then covered them with the dome, and they are good to go. I'm so excited to see what comes from this. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but dahlia tubers that I planted yesterday, or just a few minutes ago, as you saw, those are the exact replica of the mother plant. Dahlia seeds you have no idea what you're going to get. So I can find some hidden gems and never seen before in these seeds. So I'm super excited to see these grow. Thank you so much for joining me and please stay tuned to see what gorgeous little flowers bloom from these seeds. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.